America, The Winter Soldier. Which is probably one of the best action movies of the past few years, when I think about it. So, it's after the Avengers, Captain America's working with S.H.I.E.L.D., doing the missions, but he still doesn't know if everyone's telling him the truth, and that's a little... I don't want to say how, because I don't want to spoil it, but eventually Cap ends up on the run, a fugitive from S.H.I.E.L.D., along with Black Widow, and Falcon helps him out. And who comes after him? The Winter Soldier, who's super awesome villain man, and oh my gosh, it's so awesome. This movie is awesome. You got a stellar plot, great structure, everything makes sense, every action scene leads into the next action scene. Sevens, once again, perfect as Captain America, even better this time, because he has moral struggles and things such as that, and it's just, it's really nice to see just the way he works. And Chris Evans gives a great speech towards the end of this movie, and it's just, yes, I was just like, yeah, America. It was awesome. Uh, Johansson is Black Widow, and she's doing the Black Widow thing, you know, she's all moral, she's the morally ambiguous spy, she's all, she just doesn't care about anything, and it really helps to bring out another layer of Captain America with Black Widow, it's just, it's a good dynamic, and Falcon's in this movie too, and he's great. Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury in this movie was awesome, just the way he gives these speeches, and he says, he tells a story at one point, it's just. Nick Fury tells a story about his grandfather, and it's just like, yeah, that's right, that's how Nick Fury works. And the fight scenes in this movie, they're brutal. I was gritting my teeth, I was grunting during the, while just watching a movie, looking at fight scenes, I was grunting. I was having the right reaction to the fight that was taking place. And it's just, it was so exciting and just thrilling, and it's just like, yeah. This movie had strong political themes, it had strong emotional themes, it was just an emotionally strong movie, and that is all you can really ask for. It was a tight, concise story that always had everything working for it and not against it, and it just went perfectly. This is a thrilling, exciting action movie that always keeps you engaged and always makes sure that you're entertained. I'm going to give Captain America the Winter Soldier an A+. Guardians of the Galaxy, a movie that I have always considered to be our generation's Back to the Future. So Peter Quill was a kid, and his mom died of cancer, and he got kidnapped by aliens, and now he's an intergalactic criminal. Isn't that awesome? There's this other guy, and he wants to destroy this planet, and he's a zealot, and he's evil, and there's this orb, and it's a MacGuffin, and there's a whole thing. You know the plot. You all know the team, right? We know that Chris Pratt is Star-Lord, and he is absolutely perfect. He hits every beat, every emotional thing. He's relatable. He's like a big star now, and it's because of this movie, and because he's so perfect in this movie. Zoe Saldana as Gamora, green chick. And she's good. She's what you want her to be. She's your least favorite, but whatever. Batista, who shocked us all with his great performance as Drax, just taking everything literally and just being completely funny. We got Rocket and Groot over there justifying the use of CGI once again. You got Bradley Cooper, who's great as Rocket, and you got Vin Diesel, who's gonna be a classic line one day. I am Groot. Like, it's gonna be classic. Everyone's gonna be saying that when you're in your office 30 years from now. Let me just talk for a second about the way this movie looks. The color palette, the orange and green and purple, and the dark against the light, it's gonna be so vibrant and colorful and beautiful. That's part of the reason why we all love it, is because it just looks so good. Just one, I just wanna look at and they are able to establish all these characters and develop them and make us care about them in like, just like that. It's perfect. These characters all matter to us now because everything was done just perfectly. It almost reminds me of Lethal Weapon, the way that I all know how I feel about Lethal Weapon. And this movie does just like that. Even if the sequel to this movie is terrible, it'll still be fine because of these characters. The movie has such a unique style. There's these moments of silence, and it just it works so well. 
dramatic tension, everything, everything you possibly want. The movie is so funny. We all know this, but it's so funny. Every joke hits. There's no joke where you're like, oh, really? Every joke hits. The soundtrack, that's just the icing on top of the cake. And it's just, mmm, I love that soundtrack. The soundtrack's what got me so excited for this movie before. Oh, I love that soundtrack. 70s and 80s music. Oh, man, that soundtrack's so awesome. I love it. What a great combination of sci-fi and 80s culture. It's just... I know I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but I just... I gotta, because the soundtrack's so good. It's, what a fun, investing, entertaining, well-shot, exciting, compelling movie. That's also funny. And it, it's gonna be a classic one day. Everyone's going to remember it, they're going to quote it, it's going to be one of those movies. Like Back to the Future, Guardians of the Galaxy gets an A+.